Ah, uh, I'm not dead. So, hey, you know, there's a plus, I guess. Unless I really annoy you, then I guess that's a negative. So, anyway, I'm hanging out. Yeah, hanging out. That's just awesome. Hanging out in the uh, old, uh, let's see what's up here. Hanging out in the old, uh, or excuse me, the new weaning shed. Um, why it, uh, why it accidentally let the gate flop open. So this year's doe crop is roaming the yard. They all feel like they're lost. So, you know, anyway. So um, I would imagine this is gonna come out after Shana posts the video. She posted a little poll, accidentally got deleted because we thought maybe we could open it up and look at look at something. So uh, if you had voted on that, I guess uh, that's where that went. So I don't expect everybody to go back and watch that just because of the way the country is right now. So um, anyway, uh, for anybody that didn't watch that because you didn't want to, that's fine. Um, we'll just say that it is uh, 88 degrees right now. It is 100 degrees heat index. The humidity is 68. The dew point is 76. So, um, needless to say, we also have a special weather advisory statement. I'm sure much of you, if you're in the Midwest, have it or have had it because of wildfire smoke. Um, why does that matter? If you watch that video, I currently am recovering from pneumonia and I have it still very prevalent in my lungs. I've only been out of the hospital, tomorrow will be two weeks. So um, I've, uh, I've been through one round of medication. They served me on a Simbacort inhaler, sent me home. I had a whole bunch of side effects uh, by day five. Uh, they switched me over to Advair, um, double dosing prednisone steroid and I am on uh, twice a day uh, nebulizer treatments. So needless to say, um, yeah, I haven't taken that nebulizer really out tonight, so we'll see how this goes. We're gonna make this pretty quick. Anyway, what I've got, and I see Shana just got some, or somebody picked them up. She just hung some fly ribbons. Um, she cleaned this shed out today, as you can see. Most of the girls hang out in this one. Uh, they just like to be together, but lots of flies. Um, Basically, I was sick for about a month. I'm still pretty worthless. Um, I gotta watch my oxygen, blood oxygen levels. So we're gonna try to make this a quick thing. I'll try not to die while I do it, um, but I wanted to kind of show you setting up this product. Um, I don't know where my drill bits are, so I'll try to just use something to screw some eyelets in. But anyway, what we're doing is we have, let me just turn this around. Okay, so I know the sound changes a little bit here, but so we what we have, and I've kind of showed them before over in the kidding shed, which I need to fix that one. It got tangled up, but the Revenge fly reels. So it's just a giant reel with sticky scented attractant tape um, on it. And we used these last year in the kidding shed. We loved them. What you, we get them from Valley Vet. Um, I don't remember how much they are, but you need to get the mounting kit. The mounting kit comes with an empty reel, so you can run that one into this one. It comes with a bracket set, so you can hook both reels up. And then it comes with this hardware kit. So it comes with three pulleys and a handle. That handle, we screw onto this one, so we can reel that one into this one. And it comes with some long, like, hex head screws for putting those brackets in. So that's essentially what I'm gonna do because Shana's fly strips, I think she just put these up today. Um, already caught a bunch of flies. They hang out on the ceiling. Um, I came in the other day just real briefly, sprayed in here. You can see them everywhere. If I would shut that fan off, they'll congregate, you'll turn it on, and you'll feel like you're just getting a dead fly bath. So, um, like I said, it's it's summer in Nebraska, just like all you experience. So as we know, if you get behind on fly care, um, they multiply super fast. You know, their, their lifespan is like three days. And so apparently our goats like to put themselves on the stand. 
So anyway, needless to say, with me being down for essentially a month, I'm still technically down. Um, I'm not really allowed to do chores or pretty much anything. Um, so this is probably a rare video of me over the next couple months, but um, I'm gonna get this up. Um, I like to put them up right off the ceiling where they all hang out. And once or twice a day, we'll roll this thing in and it'll be full. I mean, they work great. Every Clearly other things work. The scented traps with the fluid in them, they hang up, we've used those, they work. Um, but we just find in these sheds, they work really well. I cannot believe the amount of flies in here. I'm going nuts. So anyway, I'm gonna get this up. Um, I don't think I'm gonna video putting it up because frankly, I kind of broke the thing on the tripod so it'd be a pain. So I'm gonna get this up so I don't use extra energy doing it. Uh, and then I'll show you and break it down. Okay, so to start, this is kind of how you're gonna use this reel. So that's gonna be the top for mounting, however you wanna do it. Um, but this piece down here, there's a hole there and a hole there. And there's a couple hairpins in this kit down in the bottom that will hold that in place. But like I said, our handle will also go on here and there'll be a little bolt that goes through that. So we wanna kinda of keep all that in place, but that is essentially how you'll use this to bolt this up. So I'll put both of them up like that. And what I'll probably do, um, we're gonna leave the fan on just for heat and for airflow. So that way when they come in to eat, they've got some airflow to keep the flies off. But I'll keep this above the airflow. I'll mount it probably here near the fan. So it'll probably, sorry, I can't hold everything. It'll probably be something like this um, to where I can run the full reel kind of out of the wind and I'll run it down and we'll put a pulley, a couple pulleys across and we'll wrap the new one back on that side. The other ones, what I did is I started them like midway and then you're kind of always in them. So if I can keep them over to the edge and kind of keep it so we can walk around in here without it interfering with us and end with our other one here, that's probably what I'll do. So I'll jump on it. Okay, so I've got that screwed up there. I am just a hair under six foot. So, you know, if a young goat stands up on the wall, that's the height of the um, tartar small animal hay feeder. So I'm hoping, you know, we can keep them out of it. So I wanna say ceiling height's about seven foot um, when I build it. So hopefully this will keep it up. I still have room to move it up. As you can see, we've got a clip down here. To hold that, it comes with three pretty long screws to attach those, so you can use whatever you want. Um, up top here, you can see we still have that hole, and this handle is gonna go like that, and then it'll have a clip. Um, also, you can see these two little holes. This little screw and nut will go through, sorry, I just can't figure myself out. It'll go through there, <coughs> and it'll go through one of these holes. So that way I can, from the top, twist it and reel that in. I don't know if that's gonna be the best, but that's what we're gonna try for this time. Ultimately, when you set this up, you wanna set it up to where um, you can kind of keep your string line up with your pulleys. When I did it over in the kitting shed, I have it set up like in the middle, like here and here, and then it goes out to the wall and kind of makes a triangle. I've got some extra pulleys in there. Um, it doesn't create very clean lines, uh, especially on the one where I'm drawing it in. I'm pulling it like this, and it has to pull at an angle, so it jumps off the reel. I need to turn that reel, so that's probably just a little thing. Make sure they line up. It just helps, because uh, it's so sticky that unless you wear gloves, it's a pain to touch and, and restart, um, just because it's so darn sticky. So I guess that's just one little point to mention. Um, another little thing, I didn't read the instructions, but, um, I think you gotta use these holes whoop, here are big enough that the head of that little bolt will go through. It actually threads into the handle. And what you do is when you replace your full reel, or excuse me, this reel once it's full, obviously throw it away, but you gotta take that handle off so you still got it. And then you put your new reel on the other side and that empty one becomes your empty. Um, but that's just one thing. If nothing else, grab you a really small flat washer if you wanna use the screw head on the inside. Um, but realistically, this is gonna be full of nasty fly tape. So probably better to have the nut in there so you can just squeak it out. I think it's pretty fitting I have a fly on me and everywhere. 
So next what we have is a little hook, screw into the wood. Duh, right? And we have a little pulley with an eyelet. Makes sense. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do, like I said, this north side, I'm gonna have my full reel on it and it's gonna kick out sideways. Um, I'm probably gonna try to shoot these up a little bit to get them kind of up out of the way. So they'll probably be up near the ceiling. Um, and then I'll probably put, I'll probably just put one pulley down there and one pulley in this corner and then straight down here. I have three pulleys. Usually what I do is I save them for other sheds. I'm just gonna make this a U around the border. We just need to get it up there where the flies are, which are everywhere, or on the floor, which they're clearly everywhere right now. Um, but I just wanna keep it out of my way so I can use it efficiently. You hate ducking it, getting your hair caught in it. Um, and so if I were to run that to a pulley midway and then triangle it to the back wall, I don't know, maybe I'll do it. I have the pulley that would get it away from everything a little more because you do want to provide as much kind of like hanging space for these dumb flies. So maybe I'll try it with three. I'll adjust if I need to. Um, so I'll get these three in and then we'll uh, put the re reel up. Okay, we're next to the fan again. So I don't know how well it's going to uh, pick my voice up. But so this, uh, this reel comes wrapped in like wax paper or something around it. And then they actually run the lead inside. So what I did is I tore it all off except for a little bit so that way I can hold it and it should be small enough. I can run it through my pulleys without getting my hands all gooey, but I just want to show you how much the tractin is on this. Oh, great. So that happened. Excellent. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll just grab it. Yeah, that's awesome. So this has got, yeah, when the flies get on this, they're not getting off. It's actually fun and gross once you have this run over to the new one to reel them in and it just hums and buzzes with all the flies on it. Okay, so I'm hanging in there. The flies are terrible. I think it's worse than worrying about breathing right now. So anyway, this is what it looks like. So we've got it here and then we run it up to just under seven foot, six and a half. Probably, like I said, just under seven. So we run it up. You can kind of see where it's at. And I don't know if there's something you can do. Um, maybe you could spray those with something. I don't know, like, honestly, my first thought was like cooking spray or something. I don't know. They'll get sticky, but it is what it is. And so then we've got a gap there. So we triangulate it to the center of the shed. Um, as you pull it, those will pull up tension. But as you can see, it didn't take long. As I pulled it through, flies were already attracting. So I mean, look at what it's already doing with these flies. This is the reason I put gray tin in. You can see the fly poop on the ceiling, right? So as much as I would love white for reflection and brightness, uh, gray it was, plus Menard stocks, gray is cheap. Well, it's not cheap, but pre-cut sheets I could use. Um, so we're already attracting flies. We come back here, you can see the line go to our reel. And I just looped it through the bottom here, up and around. And let me spin you around so you can see this. Okay, so this is, flies are terrible. And this is all it takes. As you can see, we start to loop it in. The height here being higher may be an issue. Um, like I said, otherwise you got to push down on it a little bit, but see right there. Um, or what I need to do is I need to turn, I'll unscrew this and I'll tip it up so it feeds in there. That'll probably be the easier thing. That one over there will be okay. But like I said, we're already, already catching flies on this. So it'd be interesting to see um, if I come out tomorrow morning with this, how many flies are there. But like I said, this is why I talked about, we have an angle. So I need to adjust this down to make that easier. Um, Cause it is, can't see it. It's super sticky. I tried to wash my hands off already. You got to use hand cleaner. So anyway, I'll get that adjusted 
and we will check in with you maybe tomorrow morning. It's supposed to rain tonight, so I don't know what that'll do to all these little demons. Um, one other thing I want to mention in this kit is these hooks. So what this is designed to do, it's designed to, um, there it is. Okay, so there's a little hook up here. So you take one end of this and you loop it back to here. Or similarly on this one, we go from here back to the reel. And what that does is it, you can use it to help keep attention to keep that tight. Um, otherwise it sags a little bit, not big of a deal. We've lost some of these in the bedding and manure before. So um, it happens, but you can see how it's got a sag. So if you want to keep that tight or a little bit tighter, you can use these hooks. But like I said, I broke my own rule, having it straight. I'll kick that up and we'll check in with you tomorrow. All right, well, we're back. It is Saturday, July 31st. And I told you we would check in on our fly reels. Um, ended up getting some rain last night, got an inch 60. So yeah, so that's gonna help these crappy flies multiply. So all the girls are in here, fans off. Cause I think my electrical plugging got wet. So holy smokes. Yeah, there's a lot of flies in here. I need to spray. The girls have tons of flies on them. Ah, terrible. Anyway, let me flip the camera around and let me show you how many flies this reel catches. See, there's how many the reel catches. And then look at all the flies. I mean, just solid. You know, and with Shana having those ribbons up, you know, they caught a fair amount, probably what you'd expect. But like I said, this thing, you gotta get around the goats. This thing is awesome. So my angle, as you can see, is still a little too severe. I need to bring it down just a little bit. It's staying on the reel, but we're still a little too severe. Like I said, guys, tell me this thing doesn't work and work in bulk. And we still have a lot of flies in here. I mean, this is just hopefully makes a small dent in the grand scheme. Like I said, I need to come in and spray stuff. I mean, it's picking up flies as I reel it in. So like I said in the beginning, um, I should have had these up a long time ago. Um, being, being sick and stuff um, put me way behind at a bad time of the season when you get a lot of generations of flies. Um, haven't got, now my buddy said an inch 60, I gotta go check the gauge, but you know, it's kind of wet here in the shed. Um, we don't have bedding in here right now. Um, usually they're fine just laying on the wood at this time of the year, but I need to get in here and spray this. We've got a lot of little goat poops on the floor. Um, Come in and soak this with some permethrin, I think is what I got, um, or something similar. Um, some flies are resistant to that, so keep that in mind. I mean, tell me that's not kind of satisfying, seeing a bunch of dead flies. But anyway, I'm going to uh, probably go back in the house. I just, just made some pork tenderloin for lunch. Uh, we'll keep up with this. I'll get some spray on these goats again. I'll get some spray in the shed here probably a little bit later. Um, just try to give them as much relief as possible. I'll mix some spray up so Shane wants to spray everybody else when she feeds again. We have that option. So anyway, guys, um, I just wanted to show you how well those reels work. Um, like I said, I know the can thing or whatever, the plastic catch deals work too, but uh, I feel like I get 
on a regular basis, I get more kill or catch with these reels than um, anything else. So with that, give it a try and let me know how it works for you.